What's going on guys, it is Brad or Demon Asylum here, I'm bringing you all a new Destiny video. I'm going to be going over Hotfix 2.0.0.4 that came out today for Destiny. I'm also going to be giving my thoughts on some of these things where I see fit. There's not too much here, so this shouldn't be that long of a video. As usual, I'm going to be reading off of the Bungie article and I'll be sure to put a link to it in the description as I always do. In case you guys want to check it out for yourselves or simply read along while this video goes on. So starting here for this Hotfix, it says the one they released on on the heels of Oryx. With the first week of Destiny the Taken King behind us, we're taking an opportunity to address and tackle some of the immediate issues that are impacting the player experience. Starting with General, we have fixed an issue with Year 1 Moments of Triumphs in which Golden Chest node completions were disappearing after Taken King release. So basically the issue with this was that you had a lot of people, and I saw this complaint about everyone on Twitter and forums, and also some of you even coming to me saying that even though you had all of the Golden Chests in the game, I think it's like 20 of them or something, uh, even though you had all of them unlocked completing your moments of triumph and all of that before Taken King came out which was the deadline when Taken King actually released it said that you didn't have all the golden chests and therefore you did not get your emblem that issue is now fixed that is what this is referring to so those of you who ran into this issue if you were one of the people who came to me saying that even though you had all the golden chests and your moments of triumph was done make sure to let me know if you actually have your emblem now unlike before when this issue occurred for you Onto activities, we have quests. Fixed an issue where players who reached level 40 before turning in the reach level 30 objective did not properly receive the level 40 quest. And fixed an issue where the quest high value targets did not correctly reward legendary marks upon completion. Now this is the first time I'm hearing about either of these two issues. I haven't seen anybody complaining about this stuff and I haven't had anybody come to me about it like they did with the moments of triumph issue. I do remember doing the high value targets quest, however I don't remember if I got legendary marks or not upon completion of it. It's not really something that I'm worried about and I'm sure most other people probably aren't sweating it either. They're basically little fixes for things that we probably never even realized were needing fixed in the first place. On to the next thing for strikes here we have fixed an issue where year one strikes we're not dropping uncommon and rare quality gear as intended. Again, here's another thing that I personally did not encounter. I was not doing year one strikes. Before Taken King came out, I did do a few of them because I was trying to get uh, the new PlayStation exclusive strikes, or rather the old PlayStation exclusive strikes such as Undying Mind. They got finally put into the rotation for Xbox users. I was trying to do those to get the grimoire from them from killing the bosses and just doing the strike in general. So uh, I don't remember if I got rewards from it back then, and that was about the week before Taken King. But either way, again, this is another issue that although I didn't encounter, other people clearly were, and it was something that needed a fix, and they took care of it. Onto World, we have some treasure chests in the Dreadnought are now in a location that only allow them to be looted once per spawn. I'm not really sure what this is about, and I'm not sure if this is referring to just normal chests that you get like the uh, the worm spore material from, or you could get a uh, reciprocal rune from, which is the tier 1 rune for Court of Oryx. I'm not sure if it's referring to those kind of chests, and if it is, I'm not really sure why this change was necessarily made. I haven't heard anything about this being sort of an issue. There's always been farming in Patrol for Destiny and other planets before. Uh, of course, that was back before we could actually buy materials. I don't think you can actually buy worm spore though, so I'm not sure what the big deal about people farming chests in you know a circle uh, or circular type of you know route, I guess we could say, in the mausoleum or the whole breach like they normally have been. But I guess there was some sort of issue or something that Bungie felt was not uh, the way they wanted it to be regarding this, so they obviously wanted to make a change, and they did. Now we're on to a change with Xur, and this is what I personally feel, and probably most would agree, is the biggest change that came with this hotfix, and regarding the most controversial thing, uh, and that is the Three of Coins fix. So it says here, the Three of Coins now provides a smaller increase in exotic engram drop chance when rapidly killing ultras. Of course, this is referring to people over and over and over killing Draxis on the Scourge of Winter mission on Venus. That was the way everybody was doing it. I personally was doing the same thing. I got a, quite a few engrams from doing it. Uh, maybe like one every five or six uh, coins I would get an engram for the 100 or 200 that I actually ended up using. Um, now, it's, it's a really controversial subject, of course. Everybody was talking about it on Reddit uh, after it kind of came up that you were able to farm Draxus over and over. Some people liked it. Some people didn't like it. Everybody knew it was going to get patched. The thing that everybody basically seemed to agree on, though, 
whether they liked people kind of cheesing the three of coins to kill ultras over and over and get a bunch of exotics, whether they're into that or not. Um, everybody seemed to agree that when Bungie made this change to Three of Coins that was inevitably going to happen, they wanted it to be something that did not change the effectiveness of using the Three of Coins the way it was meant to be used. So if you're using a coin at like every time you get to a boss, even if you're doing strike after strike after strike in a playlist, when you get to that strike boss, people want to be able to pop a Three of Coins and have it be just as effective as it was when it first came out. Nobody wanted Bungie to nerf the effectiveness of the Three of Coins when it is being used the way it was meant to be when it was put into the game. Now, as far as people farming Draxus over and over and over, I guess Bungie decided that if people want to do that with their with their uh, Three of Coins, they can continue to do so. But now we know that if you do decide to take that route, it probably won't be as effective if you just use it every time you get into a strike boss or a raid boss and you use it on them. Uh, so if you do choose now to use it on Draxus and go over and over and over again like people were before, um, which was considered abusing it, you probably won't get nearly as many exotics as you did before and it'll likely again, as I said, just be a waste. Now onto the last thing here, which is under inventory. Dismantling leveled up exotics now have a reduced chance to produce two exotic shards. I can definitely see why they would make this change because I had a bunch of year one exotics, many of which were upgraded only a little bit or upgraded fully, and most all of them were giving me two exotic shards, which I wasn't expecting. Now for someone like me, I'm not really sweating whether I get one or two exotic shards in the first place, but like I said, I did break down a lot of exotics recently with Taken King coming out and a lot of them just being completely useless now because they're year ones and I definitely did have a lot of the time get two exotic shards out of these exotics so it did seem like a pretty frequent thing and I could definitely see how they maybe see that is a little bit overpowered in a sense so them reducing the chance of pulling two exotic shards off of dismantling an exotic that is partially leveled up or fully leveled up does sort of make sense. There you go guys though, those are all of the changes that came with Hotfix 2.0.0.4. If you have any questions or concerns regarding anything in this Hotfix, go ahead and post them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Aside from that, I hope you all have enjoyed this video or found it informative. If so, feel free to drop a like on it down below and subscribe for many more Destiny videos to come. Thanks for watching everyone and peace out.